Good morning. Today is March 31st, a Sunday, and we have a lot in store today. We're running some errands. I have some packages here. I have not been home in like two weeks. I just got back from LA. I was there for like a week, and now I can finally just be home, make content, and that is very exciting. First things first, missing a nail. Slammed my finger in a door. It bruised. It got really bad. Would you take a look at that? That is crazy. And then my nail broke off because of it, but we're all healed and all better. Okay, few things. First things first, Leah got me an Apple Watch for my birthday, which is very exciting. I do have to wear it upside down because other than that, like these tattoos right here, they stop it from reading my heart rate or taking measurements and then it has to unlock every single time I pull it up, which is just not efficient. So I do wear it upside down, but basically I'm super grateful for the gift she got me, but I'm more of a gold girly. As we can see, I have like a little stack here. So I bought this watch band to match. It's just gold, it's plain, it's gold, but it's from Kendra Scott, meaning that I may or may not be able to get a birthday discount on it. So we're gonna go and we're gonna see if they'll give me a birthday discount on it. Like I'm gonna return it and then repurchase it with my birthday discount if it's eligible. So excited for that. First things first, I got some brand new Joy-Cons for my Nintendo Switch. They're pink, they're cute, but I saw a TikTok where this person's basically saying that they're not the same color and therefore I don't even wanna open them. I just want to return them. They're listed as pastel pink, but I definitely think they're more of a salmon orange. They're super cute, but I would just rather have the white Joy-Cons with the cute little cases I have on them. So these are going back. Next up, baby clothes. I know you guys are so curious about the bump date, how it's all going. Right now I am 22 weeks pregnant, about to be 23 weeks. By the time you're seeing this, I'll be 23 weeks pregnant. That is almost like five months, a little bit of over four at five months, I think. I'm not sure, but it's all going really, really well. The baby is super healthy. I feel her moving every single day. It all feels like light tapping. Like the best way I can describe it is if you stay up too late and your eyes start to like twitching, like uncontrollably, like you have a nerve that's like going like, it feels exactly like that, but right below my belly button. So, okay, let's see what we got from Posh Peanut. And you know, Facebook ads, they get to me every single time. So the first thing I got is this little a Celestial Eye of Nizu are onesie. I just thought it was so cute. You know, I just, uh, no words, just adorable. Ooh, really soft. Okay, I'm jealous. I wish I could wear this. And then I also got a Barbie themed one because why not? This one is for newborn. So she'll be wearing this when she's fresh out of the womb and it's gonna be cute. How could she not be? I mean, are you joking? You're joshing me. Little rainbows, little stars, little Barbie, little Barbie girl she's gonna be. <sighs> Love it. So there's those two things. I also, bought a pair of jeans. I'm not supposed to be buying jeans right now because nothing fits me. I've gained significant weight as you, as one does and as they are supposed to during pregnancy. So none of my jeans fit anymore, duh. But I wanted to buy these because the, the size was ambiguous. It wasn't like, oh, I'm definitely gonna be back to this size after pregnancy. It was, I was like, I'll definitely fit in this window. So had to get them because they were so cute and they were selling out. They're from Coachtopia. I am obsessed with the Coachtopia brand. I think it's all so freaking cute. Cute, but look at these jeans. Obviously we can't try them on because they're not gonna fit. But in like five months, I'll be able to wear them. But they're like kind of like camouflage, cargo, just oversized. They looked really, really adorable. And they are, I'm super excited about them. So yay. And last but not least in the little package, the lightning round package opening is a phone case. So basically whenever we were in Japan, Zach broke my phone case. Now I know you're thinking, Megan, this doesn't look broken. Well, he was goofing off. He was joking around with me. And we got into a little game of tug of war about my phone and then bam, this part broke. So I can't attach a wrist strap anymore. I am obsessed with a wrist strap. I am solely relying on a wrist strap. So to not have this case all of a sudden does not work for me anymore. I'll donate it. It's gonna work for someone else. It just won't work for me. So I'm excited to get my new, oh gosh. This is worse off than I remember. Look at how shattered this is. This is like really bad. Like that is like sticking up. Ugh, need a new phone soon. Um, That's why we have phone cases, right? So this one is from Case Fine. I'm super excited about it. Open up. Okay, okay. So this one I can't show you guys yet, but I will. So basically my new phone case didn't come in, but the mystery phone case guys, it's gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. So keep a lookout on TikTok for it. This is what my Switch has going on right now. And I like it a lot more. It's like the white Joy-Cons, but it has just these little cases on the outside. There was a case for this part too, but it fell off. But I don't know, this is just, I think a lot cuter than I feel like I would like. So I'm just gonna return them so another collector can get them and they'll have a lot more. Hi Bean, you ready to go? I'm excited to go to GameStop because we've been playing a lot more games and we've been really getting back into the gamer moment. We got our, we got yeah, Zach's Switch out. hooked up to the TV. So we were playing Mario Kart yesterday. Mario Kart last night. And then we <laughs> were playing Pokemon as Megan was playing like a little Dreamlight Valley and just like yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, we're a Nintendo people. I grew up on a 
Nintendo. As you guys know, Legend of Zelda is my favorite Nintendo franchise. Probably my favorite franchise of them all. It's just when it's the handheld Switch. I personally don't like to play it that much. I get sleepy. Yeah, and you're always bent over mm -hmm. like this and like- I get sleepy. But on the TV, it, like, I'm just like- That's why I haven't beat Breath of the Wild, but maybe I can download that on here. Yeah, you and play, I play it on, it on the TV. Here, and then I'll be able to get into it more because it's not just right here in front of me. Okay, let's go. We've made it to True Fruit Kitchen, but Kendra Scott was closed because it's Easter. I guess I, I didn't think about that. I didn't think anywhere would be closed because of Easter, but actually a lot of places are. Anything that's like a small to medium sized business is basically closed. So now we're at True Food Kitchen and then we went to GameStop. I returned the Joy-Cons. He was like, what's wrong with them? And I was like, the color. And he goes, oh yeah, a lot of people have been saying that a lot of returns. Also, we were invited to our neighbor's birthday party. The kid is turning two. Obviously, I'm not friends with the kid himself, but I am friends slash acquaintances with his parents. I thought this would be a really good opportunity for Zach and I to meet other people the same similar life stage as us who have like young babies or maybe they're pregnant or this or that and we're just we're just getting into it. So it's like right our next door neighbor. What are you? A Kirby control. There's so many pro controllers. He's distracting me. Anyway, we're going to our kids' birthday party today. I kind of know what to expect, just kind of a lot of like smiling and nodding and standing around because we don't actually have a kid, so <laughs> we'll see. We're trying to pick out a book now. I don't two-year-olds can read no basically we're looking for just something fun that you know they can read to their son yeah. without it being like a workout because so i've seen people be like this book is so long like if you give them like a doctor's this book they're just when we read long. books at that school in the bahamas like yeah it's hard to read upside down for one You're like dude look at the mm -hmm. picture so you don't want it to be something that's like 30 pages mm -hmm. look at this book shaped like a dog we're a little tilted but we got the book we're on our way to the party now because we're late i know whenever we throw like parties people come in and out they'll come like an hour late maybe an hour and a half late 30 minutes late. I don't know how punctual kids' birthday parties are. This one's <laughs> at a park, so... I assume it's a couple hour affair. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be there 20 minutes into the party. We don't have kids, so we're just gonna be going, making an appearance, maybe mingling a little bit, and then... Yeah, like, I'm sure, like, there's not gonna be too much mingling to have, because everyone's gonna be, like, trying to put time they're... in with the people, and then, like... And then their kids are gonna be running around on a playground, yeah. like, two. Two. I, I don't know how sentient a two-year-old is, but we picked out this Pixar buddy book. It looked really cute. We had trouble deciding what we thought would be, like, two advanced or not advanced enough so we but figured let's say this, this is, is a, a year fun more one. advanced like it's something they can grow into and it's so fun it's got all the fun pixar things we love disney and you're about to lose your camera because i'm about to gas it whoa and then we got this cute little bag and then we got this cute little rainbow wrapping paper so while zach is mad maxing on the way to the birthday party i'm gonna wrap this this park is extremely crowded. Look it's huge. Oh. It's like three stories. But I don't want to film any kids specifically, so I only <laughs> want to film like right what here. Is Look at that. What is what is Game that? 14 miles per hour. Whoa. So this park is massive. Bad news, we're at the wrong park. I originally put this park in my calendar, so I know they changed the park because they also changed the time. So we were walking around the park, just like, duh, like not no kids, no nothing. We look kind of silly. And then I look at the invite. I text a couple neighbors. I'm like, hey, are you guys here? Like, we're not seeing anything. And I haven't gotten text back yet, but I was like, let me just double check the invite to see if there's more specific instructions about the yeah. park. And it's like a completely different address. So we're 20 minutes away again, and we'll keep you posted because this park looked fun, but I guess they changed their mind. They were like, no. No. What's silly is this park is three minutes away from the Barnes and Nobles that we just bought the book at. So 40 minutes of extra driving. We were right next to the park that they switched the party to and we had no idea. But my neighbor called me and she apologized. I apologized because I I think in her text, I just wrote down what she said in her original text, but then the invites said something different. And that was my bad because I just went with like, you know, the text message invite and things changed. So guys, always double check everything. But anyway, we made it. We're here. Hi, we made it back home. The party was fun. Did you like it? It was really cute. It was All the kids so are cute. cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for us to have our little baby and the also baby be able to like... Really the baby that was turning two, adorable. And it was so good to be able to chat with our neighbors because the neighbors that are next door were there and then here and then there, like all of our closest neighbors in proximity, they were all there. So we got to talk to them all and it made me feel really good because it's nice to be included and invited. And, and all of our neighbors have kids that are anywhere from like five to and like under. six months. Yeah, so <laughs> our baby's gonna grow up on the street with a bunch of other kids, ah, which we're excited about. But the way that Tyson, my brother, mm -hmm. went to Wisconsin and this soda is like a little bit more nationwide now, but like. I'm pretty sure it like originated in North Carolina and Wisconsin and that's where yeah. it like built its popularity. And there's a factory there that produces it. It's called Sundrop. And I have not had this. It'll be like two years now. Oh, so, oh this is your first two years, but also it's diet. it's diet. He used to drink the regular ones, I but regular. now he's I don't drink to... regular soda anymore. But <laughs> you can see flakes in it. And like, that's not sugar obviously, cause it's diet. It's citrus. So citrus. it's actually like the lemon lime. Let's give it a go. Do you love it? I hope. 
That's good. Because all of my diet soda is dark soda. Mm -hmm. Because I don't like Diet Mountain Dew. It's definitely not as good as the real Sun Drop. Of course. <laughs> it's diet okay. soda is never good. It's, I guys, I do not like Diet I've tricked food. myself into the Pepsi Max. Yeah, that tastes like Pepsi the, to me. I don't like Diet Soda. I don't like Coke Zero. I don't like Diet Food. Like, if you look at our little fridge here, Zach has his Diet Mountain Dew, his Diet Dr. Pepper, and his Pepsi, and his Fresca. And then Pepsi I Max, have, which is Diet. Oh, and then I have my little Coca Cola right there. And all those primes are Zach's as well. Anyway, that's our little fridge moment. Tyson did something really, 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 really thoughtful for me and my family. I did ask him, but he went Hold on, wait. Yeah, that, that pops out. Sit, guys. Sit, Peach. We're gonna sound like it's a show that. Sit. Here, I'll do it. You're not good at They're the law. They're gonna do it. You're not good at the law. You gotta, you gotta crowd them like circus all this. Sit, Luna. Come here. I'm sitting too. Whoa, Peach got an early start. She would have been disqualified. She would have been disqualified. She, I was, I let her you have said go one. fast because she was already I, gone. I let her have that one. I let her have that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I asked Tyson to do this originally, but he went above and beyond. He went ham, and I can never express my gratitude enough. I handed him all of my VHS home movies. It was 40 plus hours. Well, it wasn't 40 plus hours. It was 40 then. hours of footage, but it was like movies. Some of it was like movies. Like my dad, dad my dad TV. taped like Eddie Murphy's comedy special and then he taped our birth over it. Um, so there was like mixes of home videos <laughs> with like comedy specials and movies. <laughs> so Tyson had to cut all that stuff out. Yeah, he went really above and beyond. And then he got them made into Blu-rays. He made them himself. He made these himself. So this cover, it matches the cover of what a lot of the tapes were on. So I thought that was such a special mm -hmm. cute touch. And then Elise family home movies. And then if we look at the back here, he used AI to write this but it's so good and then can you see there's my mom and then caitlin and me and then my dad and what looks like me and then we have my mom and we're carving pumpkins and this is a core memory so i want to watch some of this tonight he made us nine copies so <laughs> gonna have enough for everyone in the family and he kept one for himself good afternoon today is april 8th or the day of the total solar eclipse right now the eclipse is about to happen at any moment i'm wearing red because i saw a lot of tiktok super superstitions that if you're pregnant you want to wear red to protect yourself or put like safety pins around you or else your baby could end up with like a birthmark. I don't know. I don't know. And I just, I'm like, I don't want to be fear mongered, but I want to see the eclipse through on the only red shirt I own just to be safe rather than sorry. So the total eclipse is going to be happening very soon, like in 10 minutes. It's, it's kind of dark outside. As you can see for 2 p.m. You probably can't tell. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. We saw one together in 2017, which has been cool. And then after that, I'm going to give you guys every single bump date pregnancy up date date bad news we can't see the sun at all it's behind those clouds oh, i hate to have traveled here to see it <laughs> now we have over a million tourists in dallas this weekend for this so zach and i canceled all of our plans we're just staying home because we don't want to be out and about with everyone driving on the streets maybe the cloud will move by the time but but i don't i'm not so sure i'm not so sure oh you can kind of see it look you can kind of see it through the clouds there you can kind of see it right there you can put your glass on now you can see it oh Oh, I can see it. But when the sun comes out, you can kind of see the rings in the shadow. Here, it's coming back. See how they're kind of like shaped circular, but not really. I don't know. I, maybe I feel a little silly, but that's all part of it. Oh yeah, like look, 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 they're half moon shapes. That's from the eclipse. Do you see it, babe? Luna has been anxious all day. Been like, a little bit over the last week. She's been having a harder time adjusting, but we've been giving her a lot of love. And then there's Ted. I don't know if this is because my sister and dad have androids. Yeah, they do, because they can zoom in. <laughs> but this is basically what we're seeing right now yeah. through our glasses. So I don't know how they did that. Oh, it just got really dark. We're just staring up. I at the sun. This is what it would look like if the sky was black right now and it was about to storm, but it's not. It's like kind of blue skies with like white clouds. Would you say maybe an eclipse? It's like eclipsed. Oh, it's just really dark now. It looks like night time. It does look like night. It looks like the sun has now set. It looks like the sun is set. Oh, there it is. Now it does feel like nighttime. Oh my gosh, it is like nighttime. It is like nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. It's fully eclipsed. Oh my gosh. It's fully eclipsed. It's fully eclipsed. Dang, now it's nighttime. Now it's legit nighttime. It you looks it. crazy. You should get your phone. And I tried it. Oh, it's starting to move. You're starting to see a little more sun. Oh my gosh. This was a cool experience. Yeah, this was way cooler than I thought it would be. That was crazy. Sorry if it was like kind of chaotic, but it was very cool to experience. And I'm so glad because I was like, ah, do I really care? It was cool. I loved it. So fun. So lucky that it just so happened to be right over Dallas where we were and we didn't have to travel for it. Now I wanted to give you guys 
fitness, bump dates, pregnancy updates, this and that. I'll keep it short and sweet because I know yapping cannot always be so fun. So here's a bump date. Here's what we're looking at. I'm gonna expose my stomach. Just a warning. So this is what we're looking at right now. We are currently almost, I think we're almost 25 weeks. Let me check. By the time you guys are seeing this, I'll be 24 weeks. And I've had a pretty chill pregnancy up to this point. Of course, in my first trimester, I was really sick. I was really hungry. I was really tired. I was sleeping a lot. And then after my first trimester, my second trimester, I was zooming, grooving, going everywhere. We went to Hawaii, we went to New York, we went to Florida, we went to Tokyo, Japan. Like we've been moving. And all of a sudden, whenever I got back, like last week, it hit a wall. <laughs> Just realistically, your body goes through a lot of changes whenever you're pregnant, your hormones go through the roof. And if you know anything about hormones, you know that they can be a lot to deal with. I've had a couple mental breakdowns just about being frustrated with my body, being frustrated that I don't have a lot of energy, being frustrated. Like I knocked over a can of Coke, like Zach was drinking a can of Diet Sun Drop. I knocked it over and then I started crying because I was so frustrated. I feel so clumsy. I used to just be able to spring up, spring down, like roll over. Now when I roll over in bed, I have to do like one, two, three, like a whole 14 point turn. Adjusting. I can't sleep on my back. I can't sleep on my stomach. Both my favorite sleeping positions. So I just got really frustrated with myself and my body and how I was feeling about myself. Because also, this is not me fishing for compliments. It's just how I feel. I feel so terribly ugly. I have not been wearing makeup lately because putting on makeup makes me feel worse about myself. I only wear makeup for myself. I wear makeup because I think it's a fun way of self-expression. I think it's a fun way to like show my inside outside. Like I love doing my makeup. But lately when I do my makeup, it makes me feel so ugly. So I I've just been skipping it overall. So just this last week has been a little bit emotional for me, but on the bright side, I can feel our baby girl moving every single hour, multiple times an hour. She is feisty. She is tumbling, moving, grooving. She is doing a little somersault. She's tap, 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 tapping. Like it feels like my muscles are twitching. I did have a kick that kind of hurt me the other day. I was like, whoa, oh my God. Like it got a vocal response out of me. And sometimes when I put my hand on my stomach, I could feel a little, that's all really interesting. We are more than halfway done. For those of you who don't really know, weeks, five and a half months pregnant. It's so wild to blink and all of a sudden not be able to like, get off the couch. I'm always somebody who's never eaten a lot. I've always eaten like half an entree and then been like, and now I can eat an entire appetizer, an entire entree, plus another half an entree and dessert and still be hungry and still be like, what's next? We have a contractor coming by to take a look at the nursery to be and give us a quote on getting it redone and decorated. So I hope that that answers all your questioning questions. Baby's healthy, baby's happy. Later in the week, we have a appointment. I think we're getting another ultrasound, so we'll be able to see her again. And yeah, it's really nice that I can feel her moving all the time because it just lets me know she's doing okay. That's what's important, and we're doing everything we can to stay happy and healthy so our baby will be happy and healthy. Okay, that's the bump date.